Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to use get report data. Get report data action is a part of work queue VBO and this action is very helpful and this, this is very useful for reporting purpose. This is used for work queue reporting purpose. You are working in a company and you have one project and you are using work queue there so you might be asked to send a daily report to your client in which you need to include total queue items total work items processed today total time taken by boat to process all those items minimum time taken by boat to process one item maximum time taken by boat to process one item and total time taken by boat to process all those items average time taken by a boat to process all those items so you need to take those data from work queue and then you need to write to one excel file or in a collection and then you can send via e using email or like you can just send a excel file like that so to do that things you need to use get report data so currently i am giving example for daily reports it means daily basis your boat will start it will add items to queue and it will start processing that one so you can send on daily basis also i am going to show you how to do that in blue prism let me take here itself let me take start stage and I will take here action stage, double click on that, select work use business object and select get report data action and here you need to enter few inputs that will be queue name. So from which queue you want to get data. So first we'll enter that queue name. So I have this environment data items. So it will take data from here. It will add this queue here. Now if you want to take data based on the tags you can input tag here but I am going to show you how to take all the data which is loaded today to queue and which is processed today so here we have four parameters that we need to pass and out of four we can pass any one that will work here and out of these four to five things we need to include at least one so based on our requirement we can include so I'm going to show you the example prepare daily report from work queue so here in the loaded start date will take today's date so it will take all the data which is loaded today to queue right we'll write this so whenever boat will run it will take the current date and it will prepare the report so if we we'll take this so it will take all the data which is loaded to queue today now here we have finished start date and finished end date. So we can take here finished today. We have resource name. So if you want to put a specific resource name. So we have resource that is Pande underscore debug. So I know this one. So if you have the resource name and you just want to get rep report based on the that that specific resource. So you can enter that resource name also here. So it will just get all this data, all these queues items, which is added by that specific resource or processed by that. So currently I'm going to leave this because I have only one resource. Now here we have include work it unworked items. So it means do you want to include all those items which is pending, which is not completed or which is not worked by boat? So you can include that. So let's say if you want to include everything that is processed by boat or not. So you can write here true. But if you don't want to send this, this data like which is not processed by boat today. Let's say you added 100 items today to boat and boat started working on that. And due to some issue you, will, you were not able to process all those 100 items. You just processed. 95 and 5 items were uh, not processed and if you don't want to show that 5 items in the 
report so you can just remove this here from here but if you want to include you can put here include deferred items to so if you want to include any items which you have set as a deferred like that should be processed later so you can put here true so that item will be also picked up but currently i'm just going to show you only items which is either exception or completed so we'll write here true here also we'll write here true because i want to include completed items i want to include exception items and if you have a queue where you have set the attempt more than zero your queue items will be processed if there is any exception so it will retry that a specific item so do you want to treat each attempt as a one count so let's say two times the item process so it will include two two times here so do you want to do like that if yes you can put here true but currently my queue has no retry option set so i will just leave as it is now here in the outputs we have few parameters which will uh, give us as a data as a output we have item ids so we don't need this item id because we don't want to send this item id to client but this can be used to get different types of data if you want to get how many item we have in exception how many exception items because here we can just get as a item count how many items added to queue and process today but it will not give you how many item processed with successfully how many item processed with exception so here you will not get that so if you want to prepare report for that also you can get using get completed items and get exception items like that but i am going to just show you how to use get report data and i have already shown in my previous video how to use this get completed get exception like that get item data get logged items everything i have shown that so you can go through the previous video now here we are going to create this data item for item count so it will show you how many item added to work queue today and how many item processed today now time total so that will store in a time span it means 00 colon 00 colon 05 like that it means 5 second 10 second like that so time total so we want total time taken by bot to process all these items now we need list time list means the minimum time taken by bot to process any items so let's say we have 10 records so one item has been processed within 5 second one item processed within 10 second so it will give you 5 second it means the minimum first so we need that minimum time and then we need maximum time taken by bot to process one item so let's say we have five items so one item taken one item was processed in 5 second and the maximum time taken by bot to process one item that was 50 second so here it will give you 50 second now here we have median and mean time so median is the uh, middle part let's say we have uh, five items and the time is like 5 second 6 7 second 7 second 8 9 10 so it it will give you like 6 second or 7 second something like that so median means uh medium time of that so we don't need that we just give only total time minimum time uh the maximum time and average time taken by bot to process so average time means mean time so mean time so basically these terms are statistical word this is used for reporting purpose these are reporting word so mean means average time if you have five items so it will plus all the five times like 5 second plus 10 second plus 6 second plus 7 second and then it will divide by that count so that will give you average of that time so we can store this now this is not required now click okay 
So let me first show you that here and then I will show you how to add this to one collection. So let me link with and. Now let me right click set next stage and you can see here we are getting 10 records. We have added 10 records to queue today and that is processed also. I can show you here from the queue. Today we added 10 records. 17th February we have 10 records and these data added today and processed today also. You can see the date. If it is exception, so you can check here exception date. If it is completed with successfully, so you can check the date here. So all these item process here. And based on this, we are getting data here. Now you can see here the minimum time, list time in the, it means minimum process time. So 0 0.5, it means 5 seconds something. So you will see here, let me go here. And you can find the minimum time only 5 seconds. Because we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 11, 16, 15 and 50. So it means 5 is the minimum time. So, so list is the minimum time, minimum process time taken by both. Now most is the maximum time taken by both. So we have these records and out of this you can verify also. So 50. 50 seconds taken by boat to process this item. So the maximum time taken by boat is 50 seconds today, right? So this is the maximum and this is the mean time and this is the total time. So total time means it will plus all these, uh, uh, you know, seconds. So se 7 second, 6 second, 9 second, 5 second, 14 seconds. So it will plus all this time and total time is 2 minutes 23 seconds. So total 2 minutes 23 seconds taken by boat to process 10 items, right? So based on this, average time is taken by boat is 14. So 14 seconds taken by boat to process one item. That is the average. Uh, based on total and total count, it will give you, so here is the total count based on this count, it will give you a average count. So based on this, it is giving you and this is the total count. Let me reset this and I can show you how to add this to collection. So let me create one predefined collection. So this is defined collection. So there are two types of collection, predefined and undefined. So this we are going to define, we are going to set that we are going to add fields here and we are going to set the uh, data type. So double click and collection name is and we'll add few columns. First I want minimum process time and this is time span because it will give you a data like 00 colon 00 colon 0 5 second like that. Now we are going to run only one time. So it will run one time. So that will be a single row. So we can check this. So it will, it will have just a single row. It will not add multiple. Now click OK. So this is the collection that we have created and now we'll take here one multi-calc stage that is just to add data, add these data to collection directly. So let me take here, double click on this and now we'll create five line here and we'll write our this data to each collection fields. So we have minimum process time, we have maximum process time, we have average process time, we have total process time and we have total count. So five values we have. 
so we'll take here now go to here take list time so list is the minimum time most time is the maximum time mean time is the average time time total that will that will give give us a total time so we'll store in this one and then in the number we have item count and then click ok now right click set next stage and you can see here we have these data 10 records all these data we have available in this data items and we have this queue collection and currently we don't have any value in the current now let's pass here and then you can see that now data available in this current values so in the initial values we just had a row blank row now in the current value we have all this data updated now total count is 10 so you can compare here now we have added these data to collection and if you want to write these collection data directly to excel so you can write that collection to excel and you can send that excel file to your client so by this way you can use this get report data action for reporting purpose for work queue reporting purpose so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet and share this with your friends thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash ui path rpa if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video